Good morning, Mr. Lewis and fellow classmates. My name is Yining. Together with my teammates, Chiyan, Wilfred, Yiting, Shetley, representing from the group Sexy Potato. Today, we will be presenting on our pre-production plan. So here is our agenda for today. We will start off with the progress status update on the creative brief and storyboard. So firstly, we have revised some of the elements since our last presentation. So the key insights that we have identified is aroma truffle consumers are skeptical between real made truffle chips and artificial truffle flavored chips. So we noticed that some people are less receptive towards purchasing aroma truffle products due to its premium price. This is partially due to the fact that the brand does not spark confidence in consumers of using real authentic Italian black truffle, especially the imitation of truffle products can be found elsewhere. Hence, they require assurance that the price paid is justifiable to the value and quality of a premium snack brand. And the campaign name that we have came up with is Amaze Your Taste Buds. And the objective of the campaign are to enhance the brand credibility of using real truffle and to create the desire to purchase aroma truffle chips. The big idea we have came up is created for the sophisticated taste buds, which we will use across on our TP and TVC. So Aroma Truffle Chips is handcrafted with genuine ingredients and the finest Italian black truffle, tantalizing your taste bud with the last of gastronomy that you can't find elsewhere. And for the storyboard, the duration uh, we have changed will be for TVC, which we have reduced from 45 seconds to 30 seconds. As for TVP, it will remain unchanged for 15 seconds. And for the scenes, for both TVC and TVP, we have added audio and sound effects and the background, which is the back backdrop for the settings, as well as we have removed the duration for each scene. Okay, so moving on. So here's an overview of the position assigned. So I'll, I'll be taking the role as the director and producer, eating as the production designer, Chi Yan as the cinematographer, Wilshire as sound ed designer, and Shredley as the editor. So for my role as the director and producer, so I'm mainly in charge of controlling, managing, and oversee the video production. And I'm also responsible in developing storyboard with elements include camera shots, settings, audio, sound effects that will be used for TVC and TVP. And I also requires to set the duration for both of it. And I'm also in charge of setting budget and communicate production deadline, managing equipment needs, crews, day of a schedule, location scouting, on-site creative direction, and lastly, reviewing and selecting footage in every shooting, shooting session. As for eating, the production designer, so she is responsible for the visual concept of production, design the style for the setting. So she needs to work within the budget that I set in sourcing materials and props. So she has to be present throughout the production stage to ensure no defects of materials and props throughout the shooting. As for William, he's the cinematographer, so he needs to analyze the storyboard, shots and angle for each scene that I have produced. And she ha he has to test out the equipment and shot before the actual shoot. So mainly over at the production state of shooting, so he will be coordinating with eating who is the production designer in arranging the products and prop placement. And overall, he's in charge of operating cameras associating with storyboard, creating visual representations. And moving on to our fourth member, which is Wilfred, the sound designer. So he's responsible to set up sound playback equipment at shooting location and record layer and produce sound effect. He also in charge to determine the soundtrack that bit that best fit the video for our TVC and TVP. And alongside, he needs to assist editor, which is Shelley, in tuning the audio quality during the editing stage. And lastly, for our editor, who is Shelley, so she in charge, in charge of editing, rearranging footage to ensure the logical sequencing and smooth running of the video. At times, she will need to create rough cut in determining the exact cutting for the next and final stages. And she has to coordinate with the sound designer with Red during the editing stage, and she can provide or suggest the soundtrack that, that can be used for the TVC and TVP. So that's all for the position. I'll pass the time to uh, Shredley 
to move on to the presentation. So this is our final production schedule. The preparation of our pre-production plan starts from the 10th of June and we will assign the position first. After that, the director start to, starts to prepare the storyboard for our TV commercial and TV promos. After finalize the storyboard, the producer starts to prepare a budget list to calculate the cost of the materials needed for the entire video production. Then the location scouting will be in charge of producer and the director and they will decide what general scenery is required to meet the creative needs of the project. The producer, director and production designer will be in charge for the preparation of equipment and props. Then a short list will be prepared by the director and the production designer. It is a document that maps out exactly what will occur and what will be used in that particular shot or scene of the video. It also serves as a detailed checklist that gives the video a sense of direction. After that, the producer and director will start to prepare the shooting schedule, a plan that can make sure our TV commercial and TV promo go smoothly. And taking into account the scenes, talent, time, cast and crew and day breaks. Next, starting in July, we will go into the video production stage. Director, cinematographer and the production designer and the sound designer will be in charge for the whole video shooting process. There will be four days for the first shooting of TV commercials and TV promos. After that, they will go into the pick-up process. Pick-ups or pick-up shots are minor footage they can grab after principal shooting has worked. Pick-ups are in order either to correct a mistake or a firm additional material. After pick-up, they will check again all the shots or footage and decide which scenes need to be reshot. Last, we will come to post-production, which is a stage that assembles all of the raw footage into one cohesive project. On the 12th of July, the editor and the sound designer will carry on the first editing of the TV commercials and TV promos. After three days, the editor and sound designer will carry on the second time of editing of the video to correct any omissions that appear in the first editing. During 19th of July until 20th of July, they will carry on the final edit of the video and all the things will be finalized. On 21st of July, our final TVC and TVP videos will be uploaded to YouTube or BDVD. Next, this is our budget list for the whole shooting process of our TV commercials and TV promos. For the main products, the Aroma Truffle Chips are all sponsored by the client and, the, and they also sponsor the raw truffle for us. So there will be 12 packs of truffle chips and the raw truffle will be given. For the materials like potato, cheese, honey, parsley and dill, I used to display the ingredients in the Aroma Truffle Chips. So in the, in the material budget, there is a total of RM46.13. So next, I will talk about the shooting location of our TV promos and TV commercial. Both videos will be shooting at Williams house and the place will be the dining room and living room. For the background music, we will use slow, jazzy and chill music for the TV promo to reflect a more relaxed atmosphere. In contrast, we will use fast, upbeat and hype music for the TV commercial. This is the list of sound effects that we will use in the video. The sound effect we are mostly used for the chips and this part will be further explained in the storyboard part. Next is the graphics that will present in both TV commercial and TV promos. The main element is the product which is three different flavor truffle chips including original flavor, parmesan cheese flavor and honey daijon flavor. We will also use raw ingredients such as truffles, fresh herbs, potatoes, honey and parmesan cheese to reflect the ingredient of the chips. This is the list of props that will be used for shooting the video. Honey dipper will be used to drip honey on the chips. Knife and chopping board will be used to cut the potatoes, while the chopping board will also be used to display the chips together with the glass bowl. Also, the Siamer University Malaysia's logo and Aroma Truffle logo will be credited in both video. For Aroma Truffle's logo, we have chosen the gold color with transparent background. Next, I'll pass the presentation to my teammate. Hi, I'm Richard. So now I talk about the equipment list. The entire of the production will use the Sony A7 III 
with the length 85 mm 1.5. The second is the length 35 mm 1.5 and last 14 mm 3.1. We also have used a black color backdrop and the tripod for supporting the cameras. And next for the lighting, we'll use a LED standing light and also the aperture LED RGB light. Next, the variables we will separate into two parts. The first part, TV promo will talk by me, and the TV for the team commercial will talk by the Julian. Let's talk about the basic camera setup first. So the entire shooting process will be done by in William House, and for TV promotions, they shoot in Dini Room. So the basic setup is we will placing a black drop on the tables and the pro those product aluminum truffle we place on the black drop. In the left side we have a LED stand light, and the right side will be have the apertures LED RGB light. The camera will basically position in front of the productions with the stand of hand building, and sometimes we will place in different positions. That's all for our camera setup. So as you can see that uh, our three promotions have a duration time in 50 seconds in total of eight scenes. So let's see of the storyboard. In the first scenes, we will place three favorite of the element first together. And the second scenes, we will use uh, extreme close-up shots to shot each of the favors so you can see the details. And for the third shots, we will use like more like animation and translations. You should think a component of the packaging. And we will move the camera to the right side. So you can see that the packaging of the corner will move to the right side. For the scene 4, we will place two packages of the animal dropper, one in front, a bit to the camera, and one is back in the back. So that you can see that the left front animal truffles will be portrayed. And the scene 5 and scene 6 will be a connection, a connecting scene, which means that the camera style will be a little bit different. The camera will placing on the backdrops and we then will pull down the animal chips through the camera. And you will connect to the scene set, the chip will pull into the bowl. Into the bowl. So you can see that the scene fight and scene set is a connection that you pull it, pull, draw out the chips and drop to the bowl. For the scene 7, we will repeat again the position of the scene 1, placing three animal truffles and shoot it in the front. But this time it's a little bit different is we will focusing the lens on portrait to blurs. So the scene 7 also like the scene 3 is more like a transition scene. And as for the scene 8, we will have a truffle chips holding from upward to downwards in front of the animal truffle. So that's all for our 50 second TV promotions. Basically, we will use two types of shots. One is close up shots, and one is extreme close up shot. So, the reason that we use the extreme close up shot is to more details to see the brand names or information we need the audience to see. Like when shooting the scenes five and six about the chips. We need to concentrate the chips to bring the feeling to the audience. And for the entire TV, TV promo, we will use the background music PGM and also some of the soundtrack like the chips falling sounds or what. So next we will jump to the TV commercial and now I pass to William. Thank you. Thank you, Wilfred. Now we'll talk about the storyboard the camera setting and setups for our TV commercial and promos. I will first talk about our camera setting. So the footage that you can see throughout this presentation is from a test shot we did at our shooting location a few days ago. The frame rates for both the TV commercial and promos are will be 24 frames per second and also 120 frames per second. Um, therefore, capturing a more natural looking footage and also uh, and also for capturing slow motion footage, for example, chips falling or cheese flakes falling. Now I will continue with our camera setup 
and shooting technique. So throughout most of the production, we will be incorporating the shooting with our tripod, which means that the camera setup will be on the tripod, and which is half a feet or four feet away, depending on what kind of shots we want. And most shots will be done on the tripod, and only a few shots will be done handheld. Moving on, I will talk about the storyboard for our TV commercial. The TV commercial will be focusing on the ingredients of the chips and also the chips itself. From scene 1 to scene 6, close-up shots and extremely close-up shots of the ingredients and the packaging of the chips will be presented. This is to highlight the brand and the ingredients that are being used to make the chips. The scenes also include the names of each flavored chips, Honey Dijon, Original, and Parmesan Cheese. From scenes 7 to 12, it will still consist of close-up shots that focuses on the ingredients and the chips, such as cheese flakes falling or honey dripping on the chips. Finally, from scenes 13 to 17, it will consist of close and medium shot of people enjoying the chips. However, no faces will be included and only hands and their half body will be shown slightly. Scenes 1 to 12 will be shot in the dining room, while scenes 13 to 17 will be shot in the living room. Finally, the last scene will show the brand itself with, the, with their tagline, created for the sophisticated taste buds. So throughout our TV promo and TVC, there will be a consistent background music with the addition of different sound effects incorporating different scenes. And that is all for our storyboard. Now I would like to continue with the key takeaway for our audiences. For our TV promo, the key takeaway is Aroma Truffles produces three flavors of chips with a luxurious ingredient, truffles. Audiences are informed of the knowledge of the existence of truffles flavored potato chips. For our TV commercial, the key takeaway is Aroma Truffle presents a quality and luxurious ingredients that produce the three flavors of truffle chips. Audiences are informed of the existence of truffle made potato chips and becomes convinced that Aroma Truffle is a luxury brand that provides truffle made potato chips. And that concludes our presentation for pre-production. Thank you very much.